I cannot believe that we were even making this announcement right now, but yesterday we got our 200,000th subscriber and we were so excited, so we wanted to start today's video with a thank you. Thank you very much. It's just crazy. It took us two years to hit 100,000 subscribers. Here we are, four short months later, making this announcement. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We will be doing a giveaway to celebrate, but as usual, we're a little behind, so you'll hear more details about that soonish. It's gonna be great. Okay, back to Bali. Again, here I am. <laughs> Good morning from our 73rd country of Indonesia. Today is day two in Bali. If you're pausing this video and going back and looking for day one, don't do that, we didn't film yesterday. Since we got in at like 3 a.m., we slept for most of the day yesterday, went out and did a little bit of exploring, and then Nate went surfing. We've learned over the past couple years that me attempting to surf does not make for a good video. We also rented a scooter yesterday. We were up before the sunrise this morning, and we are heading to one of the more popular temples here in Bali, hoping to beat the crowds. This is our ride for the day. It cost all of $5. Left hand side, Nate. Left hand side, don't forget. We haven't had a lot of coffee this morning. Probably not very smart. We have never been on the road on a scooter with this many other vehicles. Everybody's on their way to work, I guess. I cannot believe how many scooters we just passed. I had this like really romantic vision of driving a scooter across a tropical island, but it's been a lot more terrifying than romantic. Good thing we practiced a lot in Italy. Ah, uh, is that where we go? Is that, I think that's... Uh, yeah, Thank you. We have made it to the temple parking lot. This place is a lot bigger deal than I thought it was. I thought we were just gonna like pull up on the side of the road, look at this temple, but we showed up. There's a five dollar entry fee per person, big parking lot, lots of shops everywhere. Let's see what all the fuss is all about. Wow. This, this bus? Is that right? that sunset was the best time to come to this temple but we saw a picture and there was like a million people here watching the sunset which is why we got up at sunrise so we could be the only ones here but we were wrong there was nobody in the parking lot so we really thought we were gonna be alone but there must be some tour buses hiding somewhere because there are hundreds of people apparently it is a 16th century Hindu temple on this rock out in the ocean and it was built to worship the sea gods of Bali
everything I just said. We just got down here. From up there, it looked like there were tons of tourists here, and now that we're down here, it's all local people, like Hindu people coming, bringing their offerings to the temple. There's only like two tourists down here. It was totally worth it. Sorry. Pika. What is it? Pika. Uh, oh! <laughs> Thank you. That all happened really fast. This really cute old man was bringing me over to this area, so I couldn't say no. And then when we got over there, I think he blessed me. I'm not really sure. He dumped water on my face and then put something here, rice, I think. <laughs> Gave me a flower and then asked for a donation, which is fair. It's only 9.30 and there's already a million tourists here, which just confirms that we got up at sunrise for a good reason. <laughs> so come at either like seven in the morning or maybe sunset's good too. Sure we don't know, but it was fantastic being like the only tourist here. Yeah. And the tide came up and people can't hardly get to the temple anymore. <laughs> so maybe they quit water. doing the ceremony? I don't maybe. know. About to jump on the scooter and head back to Chengdu for a local breakfast. Can you say, can you call that local? Local. Tourist local. I hate to mess it up. It's too pretty. All right, I'm just gonna do it. It is so hot outside that even the pool feels like a bathtub. It's not even that refreshing. like a local Indonesian restaurant. They're super cheap. This entire plate costs less than $2, 25,000 rupees, which is crazy. Weird thing is, all the food's just like sitting in, like behind glass. I saw some locals going in and pointing at different things and asking for that on one plate, so that's what I did. But it's all just for temperature. I ordered brown rice with corn, bok choy, a spring roll, some kind of slaw, a fried egg, and corn fritter. It looks pretty good. For an egg roll that's just been sitting out, that's pretty delicious. It would be extra good if it was fresh. Thank you. So I ordered nasi goreng, goreng ayam. It's like a set dish, so it comes with a fried egg with fried rice and a piece of chicken. If you want the best value for the money, the best way to go is pointing at stuff in the glass. Kara got twice as much food as I did, and I paid an additional 25 cents for this. The rice is hot, cooked fresh, mm, but it is warm. Uh, the egg on top is cold, and so is the chicken. Here's the deal. This entire meal was less than $5, so you can't complain about that. And it is really good. So... This is what the rest of the video sounds like. We've been having some trouble with our microphone, but I'm gonna to try to fill you in. This is me explaining that the thing to do in Chenggu is go down to the beach and watch the sunset, and we are about to head there now and go meet up with some internet friends who have turned into real life friends. Bum bum bum, cares walking down the road with the scooters. I guess we could have actually put some music right here. Bum bum bum. And these are our friends. This is Jordan and his girlfriend Olivia, and this is their friend Richard. You may know Jordan better from YouTube. He has a channel called Life of Jord. Olivia just started a kimono business, and Richard has an awesome blog. We will be sure to link all of this below. This is currently uh, me explaining that we are about to go to the beach, and Jordan said some cuss words right here that we we're gonna have to beep out anyway. So yeah, that was pretty much the rest of our of our night.
Good morning from our 73rd, right? Yeah. Good morning from our 73rd. <laughs> <laughs> No clue what this is about. It's just so much better than I thought it was going to be. I see why everybody comes here. It's more than eat, print, love. You have to pay. You have to pay for the swimmers. They're worth it. They're worth it. Just kidding. They don't really cost that much.